The USF 15EX Eagle II, the Air Force's newest fighter, is making headlines with incredible speed and firepower. Many claim it's nearing hypersonic levels, challenging the limits of conventional aircraft. But how true are these claims? And what do they mean for America's air dominance? Let's explore the mind blowing capabilities of the new F 15EX. The F 15EX, the latest evolution of the legendary F 15, has sparked excitement for its rumored ability to reach almost Mach 3. While that's not entirely accurate, the jet's actual performance is still remarkable. It can hit speeds up to Mach 2.497 in a clean configuration without external weapons or fuel tanks, allow it to fly faster with less drag. That's around 1,900 miles per hour, still among the fastest speeds ever achieved by a fighter designed for combat missions. What's impressive is that this speed wasn't reached under special conditions. It came during normal testing, proving the Eagle II's raw power and aerodynamic efficiency. The F-15's legacy dates back to the 1970s when it was built for air superiority. Over time, it's been continually upgraded to face modern threats. The F-15EX carries a tradition forward, combining advanced avionics, sensors, and digital systems with unmatched speed and firepower. Able to fly at nearly two and a half times the speed of sound, the Eagle II can carry more missiles than any other U.S. fighter, making it a formidable weapon platform and a frontline powerhouse. Even though it doesn't quite reach Mach 3, it's proven Mach 2.497 speed under real-world conditions shows that performance is about more than just records. Powered by two mighty General Electric F110G129 engines, each producing nearly 29,500 pound of thrust, the F-15EX delivers blistering acceleration and climb rates. However, such top speeds are rarely reached in combat. Pilots typically fly the jet with external weapons and fuel tanks, which add drag and limit speed. In stripped-down airshow configurations, with no pylons or external stores, the aircraft transforms into a sleek, pure-speed machine. Under these optimal conditions, the F-15EX demonstrates just how much power holds. Still, such runs over testing, not combat, they occur under perfect weather, at ideal altitudes, purely to push the aircraft limits. Even then, the F-15EX Eagle II remains one of the fastest and most capable fighters in service today, continuing the F-15's proud legacy and pushing its performance into a new era of aerial dominance. One of the biggest challenges discussed by experts, and even hinted at by the F-15's original program manager, centers on extreme heat the aircraft faces at very high speeds. Once a jet passes Mach 2, air friction causes temperatures to soar. At Mach 2.5, the thermal stress on the airframe and engines becomes intense. The original F-15 wasn't designed to endure such conditions for long. It was built to peak near Mach 2, not to cruise comfortably beyond it. This is a unique to the F-15. Many advanced jets are limited not by thrust or aerodynamics, but by the heat generated when air rubs against the aircraft's surface at supersonic speeds. Even if engines can push further, the temperature rise can damage sensors, control systems, or engine parts, reducing lifespan or risking failure. That's why pilots rarely attempt maximum speed runs in real missions. In combat, fully loaded with weapons and fuel, the F-15 flies well below its theoretical top speed. Its advantage lies in balance, speed, agility, and survivability optimized for combat, not records. Former Air Force pilots have shared insights confirming this gap between test performance and real-world operation. One pilot who flew F-15 E-Strike Eagles with Pratt and Whitney F-100 PW-220 and later the stronger minus 229 engines said the jet could technically exceed Mach 2.5, but paint antennas and other external parts might get damaged. These limits, he explained, were about durability, not power. Another veteran, Paul Woodford, who flew F-15CS in the 1980s, recalled test flights with a clean-configured jet, no pylons or fuel tanks, hit Mach 2.21. He believed the F-15EX's added thrust could push slightly higher, but noted that its airframe and larger canopy would reduce aerodynamic efficiency. Woodford also mentioned the Air Force made modifications to limit wear, like removing the exhaust turkey feathers and detuning engines both of which lowered top speed. 
He estimated operational pilots would rarely exceed Mach 2.2 and only briefly due to fuel limits. Another F 15C pilot confirmed reaching Mach 2.25 at high altitude, adding that the most thrilling speeds came at low level, around 780 knots under 500 feet. Still, such bursts were short lived due to fuel burn and heat stress. Regarding the F 15EX, former pilots agreed that despite immense thrust, real world missions wouldn't allow full speed runs. The older F 15C could reach Mach 2.5 during tests only by using the special V Max switch, which temporarily boosted engine fuel flow and thrust by about 4%. It was limited to six minutes of use and required engine inspection afterward. The V Max switch was safety wired and strictly forbidden in normal operations, used only in record setting attempts, most notably by the stripped down Streak Eagle in 1975. That jet, Built for time to climb records, likely reached around Mach 2.25 while demonstrating the extreme potential of the F 15 design under ideal conditions. These record flights proved what the platform could achieve, but also revealed real limits, fuel, heat, and structural stress. Even with modern upgrades, the F 15EX, like its predecessors, remains bound by the same physical realities of high speed flight. Even with more thrust, the F-15EX faces natural limits in sustained high-speed flight due to airframe heating and intake efficiency. In reality, pilots rarely push the jet to its top speed, reserving such extremes for testing or controlled demonstrations. The blend of immense thrust, refined aerodynamics, and advanced engine management makes the F-15EX one of the fastest operational fighters in service today. Operational discipline ensures the jet remains reliable during everyday missions, protecting the airframe and engines while still delivering exceptional performance when needed. High-speed flight demands careful management to prevent overheating, stress, or control issues, showing that real performance depends as much on pilot judgment as on engineering. The F-15's legendary reputation began with the Streak Eagle, which broke several climb records once held by the Soviet MiG-25 Foxbat. The Foxbat's blistering speed and altitude forced Western designers to build a fighter that could match or exceed its capabilities. Its successor, the MiG-31 Foxhound, remains in Russian service, theoretically capable of Mach 2.83, with a cruising speed near Mach 2.35. However, in 2013, Russian Air Force Commander Lt. Gen. Viktor Bondarev stated the jet was limited to Mach 1.5, due to canopy strength concerns under extreme aerodynamic stress. The F-15 he featured a V-Max switch to briefly boost thrust toward Mach 2.5 in a clean setup, but pilot avoided it due to engine risks and safety concerns. Even record speeds were only reached under ideal test conditions. The F-15EX's upgraded engines provide more thrust, allowing high-speed flight with heavier weapons and modern systems. Pilots can fly to multiple configurations without losing acceleration or supersonic capability, though real-world limits depend on payload. Each bomb or missile adds weight and drag. External weapons also face heat limits at supersonic speeds. Boeing's Rob Notney noted that these stores often set the true speed limit. While the jet can fly faster clean, loaded missions are constrained by weapon heat and stress, not engines or airframe, with multiple hardpoints. The F-15EX carries a wide range of weapons, giving planners flexibility unmatched by stealth jets limited to internal bays. Lieutenant General Nahum noted it can carry oversized weapons, even hypersonic missiles, making it an ideal complement to stealth fighters. Major Kevin Hand demonstrated its broad flight envelope, and the Air Force hinted at a new large air-to-air -air weapon. Its speed also boosts missile performance. AM-120 AMROMs and AM-260's gain range, power, and accuracy when launched from a fast-moving jet. The Air Force plans acquire 104 F-15E times S, including 24 added in 2024. Base of Portland, Fresno, New Orleans, and Kadena with training at the F-15E Strike Eagle Schoolhouse.